As a fullback on the Army football team, Mike Vitti made a name for himself as a runner. But he made his legacy while walking. I'm Laura McKenna, remembering 9-11 and the American soldier, presented by USAA. A West Point graduate and combat veteran in Afghanistan, Vitti retired in 2013, but the desire to serve still burned inside him. When I transitioned out of service, I always wanted to you know, give back. And the groups of people that I wanted to represent it immediately went to you know, our nation's gold star families. You know, of those who made the ultimate sacrifice, you think of the widows, you think of the sons and daughters, you think of the brothers and sisters, the mothers and fathers. That became Vidi's new mission, to bring awareness to gold star families. And so he walked, or rather hiked, for 232 days. Mike's Hike for Heroes a kilometer for every service member killed in action. The hike was truly a vehicle, number one, to honor, at that time, the nearly 7,000 men and women who courageously gave their life in, our, in the global war on terror. Number two, to connect with their families and say, just as a grateful, born-again civilian, thank you for the sacrifice you'll forever have to endure. And then bring the American public kind of the table to be like, why is this guy turning in the Forrest Gump? Why is he walking all this way? What's his passion? What's the reason behind it? For me during the hike, um, the inspiration wasn't just the, the breadth of the, of the hike itself and, and as far as the duration or the miles or anything like that. It was really the, hey, what, what could I do? You know, hands open, heart open, mind open. What, what could I do? So in April 2014, Vidi started walking from north to south, from west to east, ending at the Army-Navy game in Baltimore. Along the way, meeting with Gold Star families, hearing their stories, and spreading awareness. The hike was one thing, the physical taxing part of it was one thing. The thing that caught me completely off guard was meeting the families. That was the most emotionally draining part of it. So when you get into like the training for it, the preparation, the actual hike itself, it was always just the draw people to a table and then the other 99% is way, way, way more important. And then there were the names. Names he wrote on flags. New names every day on flags that Vidi carried from sea to shining sea. The names of every single service member who died in service of that flag. Moreover, was when we were with the families and they wrote their loved one's name on that flag. To me then, when I write a name, I'm doing something to honor them and I, I'm sure people are like, wow, that's incredible. Um, but when you meet the families and they wrote the names and I carry those flags um, across the country that they swore an oath and allegiance to protect, we owe them everything. For any Army football player, there's nothing more important than the Army-Navy game. It was an appropriate and logical endpoint for his hike. As Vidi made his way towards Baltimore in 2014, the final two names on his list were reserved for a fallen teammate, Chase Presnicki, and a fallen rival. The last two kilometers were dedicated to Chase and um, um, J.P. Blacksmith, who's a Navy quarterback who passed away. Ed Blacksmith was there with us. Um, and so was Emily Presnicki, the widow of Chase, and Chase's family. That day was kind of brought a lot of it together and unintentionally. You know, I just thought Army, Navy, very superficially, um, in the beginning was just about, hey, this is a good finish line. This is a good place to, to culminate the hike, but all the other um, ancillary stuff that happened and brought into that day was um, very, very magical. And even though the hike is over, the mission of supporting Gold Star families will never end. I think that's a forever thing for me. Uh, I'll never sit there and say we've crossed the finish line. You know, we were able to create um, the nonprofit from the hike. Every year we do um, a Gold Star family reunion at Army Navy. I met with 67 families during my hike um, across America in 14 different states. Those families, you know, still come to our events when the, that synergy of service with loss and it's not forgotten and it's carried forth. And that's what, 
you know, I think the legacy of the hike is it's that, you know, people are just helping people and that's really it. As the mission continues, you can get involved. Learn more about Mike's Hike for Heroes and about how to support Gold Star families by visiting LegaciesAlive.com. I'm Laura McKenna, remembering 9-11 and the American Soldier, presented by USAA.